It says, how do you write one six in percent? So how do you write one six in percentage or percents? What, how we have to do this is we have to basically convert this into a decimal first. So we have one over six here. In order for us, for us to convert into decimals, what we're going to do is we're going to do six divided by one here. So you have six here, or one divided by six, you can say. So yeah, one divided by six is probably, uh, yeah, it's the correct way of saying it. Sorry, it's one divided by six here. So we have one divided by six, and we're going to add these placeholder zeros here. And then we're going to do this through long division. So my decimal place is still here. Um, I'm going to have zero in this first, first slot here. Six times what number would give me closest to 10? It would be six here six times or sorry it's one here sorry six times one here would equal six ten minus six here is four bring down the zero six times what number would equal 40 or closest to 40 it would be six six times six here is 36 40 minus 36 here is four and then as you can see this kind of uh this kind of process uh repeats right it repeats for every uh every time we do add a decimal place here so again it's 0 0.16 again here and this would be 36 40 minus 36 is a 4 you bring down the 0 and then you can repeat this as well so this 6 here is repeating so therefore uh, 1 over 6 here in decimals first so this is simply in decimals would be 0 0.16 and then the repeating sign here right so basically what the, what I have here is I can say it's 0 0.1666, right? In order for us to convert simply this to percentage, what we're going to have to do is we're going to multiply we're gonna multiply the decimal by 100%, right? So this here would equal, I can move the decimal place 1 and then 2, and then so my new uh, number here is 16.66%. And this here will be my correct answer for this solution here. 16.66% is 1 6 in percentage. So this here is, uh, this solution is correct as well. In the given case, you have to convert 1 6 to percentage form. So multiply 1 6 by 100, you would get 16.67%. Uh, I did it first in decimals and percentage. It doesn't really matter. You can actually go directly from, uh, from fractions to, to decimals by simply just taking 1 over 6 times 100% here. And you would get exactly the same thing. 16.66% here. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. Both solutions here are correct. And then right here, great solution. And analysis here. Solution here is correct. Done.